now we are going to discuss pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation okay how we can do that okay look at this this is signal generated or message signal that is baseband signal that should be generated from this part okay and the baseband signal will looks like this look at this as this is connected at this end for the positive end and for this for the ground okay and the output will be looks like this and if we measure it look at the frequency that is around 273 hertz okay so what is this this is baseband signal and then what is our next is the carrier signal okay this is carrier signal and we can vary the amplitude of the carrier signal using this and we can vary the frequency of the carrier signal using this and similarly for amplitude baseband signal also amplitude can be varied by this knob and frequency can be varied by this knob so to get the buffer we just vary the time division and okay so look at this this is around 25 kilohertz of or 26 kilohertz that is the carrier signal frequency okay so then what we need to do we just going for the modulated part using 4066 ic and that is the modulated ic actually and from, from this end we can get the modulated output okay so for that what we need to get connected at first we connect the baseband signal into the modulator modulator as a signal and then the carrier will be giving input to the carrier okay and then to connect this end using this knob okay so from here we can get the modulated output okay look at this that is as, as the frequency of carrier signal is very much higher it is a, this this signal is looks like this if we if we can decrease the carrier signal frequency we can get this kind of output wave form if we compare it with the message signal we can get the exact view of the pam signal look at this the yellow color is the baseband signal and the modulated pam pulse amplitude modulated that means the amplitude of the pulse are varying in accordance with the baseband signal okay so as the amplitude of the baseband signal is decreasing the amplitude of the pulses are also decreasing as at as baseband signal amplitude is increasing that is of the amp pulses amplitudes are also in increasing order okay so to make it a demodulator what we can do look at this so this connection should be connected to this end okay this is demodulator part and this is only a filter used here rc filter okay rc filter is used here to make a demodulator nothing a complex circuit here so we just connect it here and look at this this is the demodulator output okay to get a proper output we can vary the frequency of the carrier signal look at this if we vary the carrier signal that is increasing the carrier signal frequency then we can get almost perfect demodulator output but if we decrease the carrier signal look at this the noises are there look at this the granular noise are there it can be generated so to uh, make it perfect demodulation we have to increase the carrier signal frequency okay look at this this is almost perfect demodulation signal 
okay so this is pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation